I'm personally a Tulsi fan. Um, I think Bernie personally actually has the best chance of beating Trump just because he already has the coalition behind him. I mean, Tulsi has a lot of the same politics on him, I think, just because she's a veteran and she understands the military, she'll be better capable of handling that. But overall, like, Bernie's got the plans, man. He's got the juice. He's got everything. He's got the sauce, really. He's had it since, what, the 70s, 60s? Wait a minute, because I hear Elizabeth Warren is the only one with plans. Elizabeth Warren is the I have a plan candidate. She's got some plans. But what's interesting, not trying to knock Elizabeth Warren here, but, like, her wealth tax plan, Bernie's been talking about that for like two decades. Bernie's been talking about this stuff forever, and now people are starting to jump on the bandwagon. It's kind of hard to take, it's kind of jar, hard to judge who's serious about these policies and who isn't. On top of that, I know it's petty, but if you can't admit that you maybe lied about being a Native American just to get brownie points with people, I mean, I know politicians lie all the time, but come on. Yeah. Her answer's been pretty terrible on that. Yeah. That's not a crucial factor for me, but she I could see. Hillary. She could endorse Bernie when she said she had his same ideals. True. She didn't talk about no dapple until after, um, after Obama said something when people were, especially if she's Native American, she didn't say nothing about it. People are getting shot, arms blown off, tear gas. You know what's interesting to me also? You keep hearing about electability. Yes. But everything I'm, about Joe Biden, but everything I'm seeing, uh, I'm sorry to be crude, he, he's kind of Hillary Clinton with different body parts. 100%. TPP, NAFTA, he drafted the crime bill. He, uh, he's basically, he, I think he's still for TPP. He won't give an answer on it. Sure. That's, that's a big reason Donald Trump won in those Midwest states. He was saying, I'm going to repeal NAFTA. Oh, TPP is not going to happen. So far, it hasn't. Whereas Biden is for all of these things, not to mention Biden is, uh, Trump was very successful in painting Hillary Clinton as a Wall Street puppet, yeah. which frankly she was, and Joe Biden is too. So it's not the fact that Trump says racist things and is off the cuff. It's because he talks like working class people. That's what he relates to people with. And I think a lot of Democrats think, oh, well, Joe's the same way. He talks like, no, 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 no. He talks like a neoliberal neo bourgeois Democrat. Bernie talks like a regular person. Well, and I think there's a lot of this. The media has a, a false sense of what working class people want, and they want what Bernie wants. They don't want what Joe wants. But the other thing also is Donald Trump, what Donald Trump is so good at, and I think he's awful. I'd love for Donald Trump to lose. Make, let me be clear. I want Donald Trump to lose. So. Donald Trump's very good at marketing and salesmanship. Absolutely. So he puts little names on people, and those names stick. I am telling you now, I'm not in his campaign. I don't know what they're uh, talking about. I'm guaranteeing you. I am guaranteeing you. He is going to start with the TPP Joe, NAFTA Joe, and it's going to stick. And what do you think? The people in Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, from three years ago to now, suddenly they're not anti-establishment? They're not in an anti-establishment mood. Suddenly they're for NAFTA. Suddenly they're for the TPP. Suddenly they are for um, tax cut, you know. And Joe Biden literally, the Biden people, Joe Biden literally just told Wall Street donors, your standard of living will not change under my presidency. He is telling them, you guys are good guys. You're patriots. Now, my brother's a hedge fund guy, okay? He's not at Goldman Sachs, he's at a lower level. There are not, not everybody on Wall Street is a grade A douchebag. I mean, I think he's kind of off the reservation politically and we fight, but I'm not saying all of Wall Street is douchebags, I'm just saying most of Wall Street is douchebags. So that's the truth. So when you're basically giving figurative sexual favors to Wall Street, more than you're campaigning, he's only campaigning every other Tuesday right now, Joe Biden. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statusquo.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statusquo.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.